Talk American is all about classic American vehicles, the people that own them and the people that love them. This love is most obvious at car shows. I'm lucky enough to have attended the biggest car show in the world, the Power Meet in Sweden. I've also attended car shows in Florida and all over the UK. But I've never seen a car show totally take over, and I mean take over an entire town, until recently. Billing Aquadrome in Northamptonshire, home to the American Auto Club International Car Shows and others since the 1980s. Undoubtedly, the AACI shows are some of the longest running American car events in the UK and typical of British car shows. People drive from all corners of the country, meet up with friends, and there are trophies to be won and a lot of chatting and comparisons to be done. It's definitely British, the sunshine is missing. If you contrast that AACI event with the President's Weekend Classic Car Show in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, one of the first things you notice is how the cars sparkle in the amazing sunshine. A section of the historic A1A highway has been closed for the show, and the fact half the crowd are in beachwear gives it a glamour us Europeans can only envy from afar. But would you believe the town of Horsham, which is roughly an hour's drive south of London, has allowed a car event to totally take over the town? We love Horsham Americana. Was that right? <laughs> the cars take over the town before the crowds get there. In 2017, the inaugural Americana had 110 classic cars or thereabouts. In this, just its second year, the number has tripled, necessitating months of prior planning and organising the vehicles into different parts of the town. As we can see from the map, 50s cruisers are right in the middle near the entertainment at the bandstand. The customs are centred on East Street. Pickups have been sent to the Forum Theatre area. Hot rods have been ordered to colonise the Market Square and so on, with Horsham Park divided up to play host to movie cars, NASCARs, military vehicles, as well as a variety of car clubs. The Americana event has been a huge success, with people flocking to it from all over the country. It's a show masterminded by Gary Mortimer Cook. It's the second one, but we're building on an event we've been doing for 12 years, the same formula, um, which is cars and bikes, food and entertainment all to a theme. And that theme has been Italy, and the event has been called Horsham Piazza Italia, and we started that 12 years ago. How did we get to Americana? Well, we've always had supercars, not just Italian cars in Horsham Piazza Italia. And um, one of those contacts was a Corvette club owner and he approached me and said could we have a group of 20 Corvettes come on the town and we put them into East Street benefiting all the restaurants in East Street. John Sansbury came back to me and said you do realise there are hundreds of classic American cars, muscle cars in the southeast of England and we, all we get sent to is airfields or fields to run shows. Is there any chance you could do the same as, whole, as Piazza Italia but completely American themed? So, as it happened, at the same time, there's a magazine locally called All About Horsham magazine, and they had an article on a classic car owner. They featured one of the owners, a guy called David Mott. He's here today with a club called Oddballs Car Club. And they helped me put together the first Horsham Americana. And from that, 
we've reached out, we've visited some other shows, we've approached all the clubs. We are where we are today. So the Americana event actually springs from the Piazza Italia concept that Horsham did for donkey's years. But why would a town turn itself over to hosting this big show with all the disruption that that entails? The main purpose of Horsham Americana and all the other events, not just that we ran ourselves, but we support, is to support the economy of the town. It's to provide um, footfall on the day, to, to bring more people into the town, to give the local business the opportunity to step outside their door to do something different and engage with people that they have the opportunity to bring back and make their customers for the future. And then the overall byproduct of all that is the publicity, the reach that we get. I mean, you're interviewing me now for this video. That wouldn't have happened if we hadn't put on the event. So the events themselves create the PR bubble for the town. What I love about a Horsham Americana is the diversity, where you get so many just really cool cars all in one place. You're just not going to see that anywhere else. Cars, I love the cars, just fabulous. Look at them, look at them. Yeah, great. The reason we love this, or that I love this, is because we went travelling around America, so we spent quite a lot of time looking at the lovely cars and love the food, love the people. It's just a really nice atmosphere, really nice day, uh, food, drink, just good people. It's good for Horsham. I think this sort of thing brings great tourism to the area. The people look at the turnout, loads of people. Obviously, spending money is great. Americana shares a parallel with the Fort Lauderdale show I mentioned earlier in that it takes over a retail area and therefore the vehicles attending are exposed to people just going about their daily business. That will put a smile on most faces but it also means non-car people have access to these classics and customs and in modern times that tends to mean they're in danger of being scratched by people who just don't have the respect they should for other people's property. You'll get all sorts of people at shows, families with buggies and babies and pushing them around cars. I'm not over keen on that, and I guess a few others are not either. Yeah, that, that bit is annoying. You know, when the parents are not saying to the kids, you know, these people's cars, don't take, you can look, but it seems to be a lot of the kids today are just doing what they want to do, and the parents are not saying anything to them. But overall, the consensus seems to be the car owners attending love bringing their cars to Americana for a variety of reasons. Much better than a normal show. Oh, I love Horsham Americana and if it's on again next year, I'll be coming back again. Well, it's just a diverse amount of American cars that are here, uh, varying from sort of standard cars all the way up to our race cars. Uh, so it gives a good all round view of uh, American cars and the scene involved with it. Do you know this is fantastic? Apparently, there are 396 cars here today, whereas last year there were just over 100. So it's really grown and we've got all sorts of lovely food and we've got stalls and um, special displays oh, and very loud engines. <laughs> it's great, I love it. It's such fun. It was a bit bigger for me really this year, you know, it was spread out a bit, but it was great, great turnout of cars, some lovely stuff down there. Other towns have tried to emulate what Horsham has done. Camberley in Surrey has shut down its high street and filled it with American cars during its carnival festivities. But Americana seems to work so well because Gary and his team have gone the extra mile. Things like bringing in the Sussex Thunder who were fantastic engaging with the kids. Putting on musical acts like the wonderful Spinettes and the best Elvis impersonator I've ever seen and I've seen a few. Thank you. One second. It's great to be back ladies and gentlemen. We were here last year. Plus it's the little touches. Captain America handing out flyers. Having stalls that sold the miniature versions of the classics in the streets. While all this is going on, raising money for a local hospice. Just a great event to bring everybody together. A real sense of community. It's all over the town and it's just a great day out. Great atmosphere, loads of fancy dress. Oh yeah, the swing dancing is going to be awesome as well. And it's just a really great event. I mean, you Bringing can see how many together. people are around. Still, they've been here for hours. Americana seems to be that rarest of things, a triple threat, win-win-win situation. The town of Horsham gets boosted economy from people flocking into the town to see the cars. The people displaying their cars are really happy with how they're treated and happy to have a different type of venue. And people 
who travel from all over the country to see the show are also happy because there seems to be a really diverse mix of American classics. Awesome for everybody. And another great thing was how different groups of cars got to parade through the centre of town at various times so everybody could experience those rumbling V8s. Ready the car! And the awesomeness continued right to the end. As this amazing event wound down and the car owners headed home, look how the crowd appreciated them. Here's the now traditional reminder to share this video with your piston head friends and follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can alert you about new videos we make and build an audience. And of course, go to the excellent website, talkamerican.com. And finally, please give us some feedback in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. But for now, we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.